two dead. Michael Connors and his wife, Susan. Michael had one daughter from a previous wife who died, Annabelle. I reckon you're controlling the drug flow for this entire area. It's my mum supplying the drugs. She's out for revenge. She wants a war, she's gonna get one. Ah, oh, why didn't you phone the police? <laughs> I, 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 I should have, I just... Are you considering Annabelle? Nothing points to her. I think it's something really off about, Aaron. That's pretty. I'm just some bit of old rubbish. Had it for years. <laughs> Dad let me sleep in his bed. Any bare skin he could find. So we've got Joe, Annabelle, and a gun all missing. We're checking out her flat today and a few other properties Michael Connors owned. Size eight, could be Joe Bancroft. I'm sorry, but you can't go around there, Mum. This place is now a crime scene. I need you out. At this stage of the investigation, we're very anxious to trace Dr. Annabelle Connors, Michael Connors' daughter. She was last seen at the Thistle and Rose Hotel with her fiance, Joe Bancroft, on Monday night. Anyone with any information regarding Joe and Annabelle should contact the police immediately. Do not approach them directly. They're key persons of interest in the investigation. What involvement does Detective Chief Superintendent Bancroft have in the investigation? None. I report directly to Chief Constable Holland. What the hell was that out there? Look, you're not across this. I know what I'm doing. You could have at least given me the heads up before going public like Why that. Why would I? I can't trust you. You inveigled your way into Annabelle and Joe's flat into what turned out to be a major crime scene. You put this whole case on the line. Have you actually got anything that puts Joe in the Connors' house? Annabelle could have been wearing those trainers. This whole thing could be a setup. Not just the trainers. The phone company Ping Joe's work phone is in the vicinity of the Connors' house the night of the murder. You want to help Joe? Get him a lawyer. The best you can find. Sick of you and Bancroft telling me what to do. You've got this club, she gets her glory. Meanwhile, I'm covering for both of you. My mum's on to us. When you come in here, you need to be discreet. What I need is some more coke. I'll have some sent to your house. Get off home. Did anyone clock who he was? No, I kicked him straight out. But he's getting too unpredictable. Just don't need this right now. I... If I've got any chance of protecting Joe, I've got to keep my position at work. I know through the acid at yeah. He used to work for me. I want to kill him. We don't need any more trouble. Besides, it's your mum who's the problem. Do you really think that she'd grass you out? No question. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, well, I got over it a long time ago. Stay at the club tomorrow. I'll be in touch. Anyone with any information regarding Joe and Annabelle should contact the police immediately. Do not approach them directly. They keep persons of interest in the investigation. What involvement does Detective Chief Superintendent Bancroft have in the investigation? None. I report directly to Chief Constable Holland. Yes, I, I think I saw that young couple on the news in the woods near Willow's side. Yes. Well, I heard them before I saw them. They were shooting at birds. The boy had a gun. Thank you for letting me stay. No problem. You probably should tell me you were coming. If I did, you would have put me off. <laughs> no, I wouldn't, Mum. Um, I was going to ring you about Joe. It's just it's been very busy. He was in the news again this morning. He looks so different in the pictures. <laughs> what do the police want him for, Elizabeth? I think they just uh, need him to answer some of their inquiries. So. Person of interest? Doesn't that mean they want to arrest him? No, not necessarily. Are you sure? Look, I'll give you a call. If anything new comes up, Got to get to work now, and you should be getting home, so I'll ring your cab. Why did you run away if you didn't do anything? Because he's bloody stupid. And his girlfriend's a manipulative bitch. Oh, so you think that she was the one that got him into this trouble? Yes. Yes, that's what I think. Great to know you've got faith in him, Mum. I do. I do. Uh, I just... It's just what? What can I do to help? Honestly, just... Just go home and let me get on with this, okay? Can't I stay? Please, just until they find him. Does it look like breakfast? <laughs> Where's that come from? Oh, I found it. At the bottom of my bag. I thought we could have some fun as it's our last day. Change of plan. We're not going to pick up Mrs. Kamara anymore. We're going to bring Darnisha instead. Why? Well, we need to put a bit of distance between us and Darnisha. And, uh, you know, you said that Walker was sniffing about. So... Does Darnish know about this? Yeah, yeah. I spoke to him last night. Why am I only finding out now? All right, everybody. Listen up. Let's have your attention, please. 
Today, this new force means business. We've got a lot to do, so I'm going to need all of your focus, OK? So what we have is faces of the drug scene, past and present. This afternoon, we turn them over in simultaneous raids. I will act as goal commander. OK? Now, I'll come and brief you individually in your teams, all right? Um, but for now, we go in hard. We go in fast at 4 p.m. today, all right? Thanks, all. Please. See, Mrs. Kamara is no longer on the board. The Danish is. Why is that? He's a person of interest. Like you said, high water was his backyard. Francis, I just wanted to um, talk to you about Jake Harper. The press conference he did on the Connors case, it was well outlined. He ran every word of it by me. Elizabeth, you can't afford to be sentimental about family ties. You need to play things by the book. We're talking about my son. There's been a development. Whatever comes down the line, don't let it derail you, especially today. Is it true there's a lead on Joe and Annabelle? Why would you hear that? Please, just, just tell me if you're going to ring them in today. Honestly, Gov, there's no new leads. As soon as we find them, you'll know. Was that Bancroft? Yeah. I know it's hard to lie to her, but she can't know about any of this. Especially if there's a firearm involved. I'd like mm. to thank our parents for fucking mm -hmm. us up so that we could mm. meet. That's going to be my <laughs> wedding speech. Mm. I don't know if we ever have a wedding. I swear we will. Where will we live? Mm. Fuck knows, some <laughs> fucking mansion somewhere. And we'll have children. We'll look after them properly. We won't do bad things to them like our parents have done to us. If I end up in prison... Then I'll wait for you, however long it takes. Well, you mustn't. Because I won't survive it. I won't ever come out. What are you talking about? Dying wouldn't be that hard. Sometimes I think my mum's just waiting for Don't me. Don't say that. <laughs> well, someone has to pay, Joe. Yeah, well, not always. And I won't let you go to prison. Because mm -hmm. I'll do anything to protect you. Anything. This is gold. All units are in position. Standing by. Okay, you need six ready to go. Units strike, strike, strike.
Ganesh. I think we need to have a little talk. Since the moment you got back, you made it impossible for me to ignore you. Got my attention? What is it you want? I wanted you out of the way. Since that failed, I could settle for a deal. These are my terms. Joe. I think I heard something outside. Can you go and have a look, Bell? Please, Joe, now. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, Joe. Oh, I can't see anything. Go back, go. No, 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 my name's Detective Superintendent Jake Harper. No sudden movements. Hands behind your head. I'm going to walk slowly towards you, understand? Do you have a firearm on your person? No, no. In the caravan? No, no there's no gun. Our police. Show me your hands. Walk towards me. Face the door. Joe Bancroft, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murders of Michael and Susan Connors. And about Connors, I'm also arresting you on suspicion of the murders of Michael and Susan Connors. No, I, I, I haven't done anything. Joe! No, Joe, help me! Joe! Please! please help me, Joe! Sounds interesting, but question is, do I really want to help you? You've had acid thrown in my face. Put shit drugs out on the street. Nearly started a gang war. If there was going to be a deal, it would have to be on my terms. I'm listening. Danish Kamara's flagged to you on the system. You've been running him as an unregistered informant, haven't you? But then his mum comes back, risks your little arrangement, and hey, presto, she's dead. But Danish, he's got an alibi. Because you brought him in. I don't have a clue what you're on about. Bancroft's got to you. You're protecting a drug dealer. You're in this up to your neck, so when Danny Shaw Bancroft asks you to chuck an old lady out of a window, you can't say no. I didn't go near her. Well, if you didn't, and Danny couldn't, then Bancroft did. Elizabeth, don't go out. Stay put. you'd help me if I get sent down for this I need you to get me out as quick as possible no, you're not gonna get sent down but if I do look whatever you're thinking stop 
Go ahead of the fall so you can break every rule. No, it doesn't work like that. So you're telling me that you haven't broken rules before? Come on, this is different. If you were using your brains, you would know that. Is this Annabelle? Annabelle's been through enough shit. You've got to stop protecting her. Like she I'll is stop not protecting what Catherine. This has got nothing to do with Catherine. Of course it does. If you don't get that, then you don't get anything. It's time you paid. It's time we both paid. Joe! Joe! I want to talk to someone! I want to talk to someone now! Gov, you can't be in here. Do you want to keep your job? Interview with Do you? Cuff, conducted by DSI Jake Harper, DS Morris in attendance. Go. I believe you have a statement you want to read. I, Joe Bancroft, would like to give a full admission as to the murders of Michael and Susan Connors. Joe, my advice, take a moment. I killed Michael and Susan Connors, both of them. They deserve to die. It must be a relief to get that off your chest. Right, so what happens now? Is that it? You take some details about the night of the murder. I don't remember much. I was stoned. I'm sure we can fill in the pieces together. For instance, how did you get to the house? I drove up there. You drove? Yeah. You don't have a car, though, do you? I took Annabelle's. And why did you decide to go to the house, Joe? I wanted to talk to Michael. He was trying to break up Annabelle and me. And what happened when you arrived? Michael was pissed. He, he wouldn't listen to me yet. He went for me, I tried to push him away, but he came back at me. I panicked. I grabbed something, hit him with it. It was self-defense. Hit him with what? Uh, I don't remember. How many times? I don't remember. And what about Susan? Yeah. Yeah, I killed her too. You certain it was that way around, Joe? You killed Michael and then Susan? Yes. Why did you do that, Joe? She hadn't done anything to you. She was a bitch to Annabelle. She always supported Michael. Where was Susan when you found her? Upstairs, in the bath. And how exactly did you kill her? I don't remember. No, you don't remember much. Then what happened? I ran downstairs, ran out the house. Same way you came in? Yes, through the front. You drove away. Where to? Annabelle's flat. You must have been covered in blood. Shoes, your clothes? I washed them. Was Annabelle awake when you got back? No. No, uh, Annabelle slept through the whole thing. I didn't tell her what I'd done. This has nothing to do with her. What are you doing? Get me dear, sorry. Because you can't come with it. You might have fooled everyone else, but you haven't fooled me. You admit this now and it'll go easier for you. I have nothing to admit. Joe didn't kill your parents, you did. Joe's confessed. Well, he wants to be a hero. Oh my God, he killed them. But I'm going to prove that you did it. So he killed Susan. Don't he killed them. He, yeah, he killed Daddy. Don't, don't you. Don't you. Don't you. Don't you. Don't you. Out. Now. Out. Out. Tell the truth. Out. Or I'm arresting you for attempting to pervert the course of justice. She has put him up to this. I mean, it is a false confession. Well, he'll have to tell him what's false and what isn't. Joe didn't even know that Michael had been whipped. He didn't even know how Susan died. He said he came through the front door, the assailant came through the back. You think I have worked that out? Well, then throw out the confession! Stop telling me how to conduct this investigation! You're not just risking your job, you're risking mine, too. And then who's going to find out the truth about what happened here? Do I really need to do this? I thought she had more control. It's a tough situation. It's time to charge Joe Bancroft. We're not ready, Chief. Everybody's looking at us. We need a conviction. The Connors were high profile. He's confessed. What more do you need? The confession makes me question the whole case against him. He's the son of a copper. Maybe he's given an inaccurate confession to do just that. Thanks for coming, everyone. Um, as you may know, and my family situation is um, putting me under a great deal of stress. Um, 
then I just feel that at the moment I can't give you the leadership that you require and deserve. So I will be taking leave with immediate effect. Now, I, I, I want to be absolutely clear. This is 100% my decision. No one else's. It's a letter of apology to DS Potter for my regrettable behaviour. And um, this is from the doctor. You have been busy. You'll be lucky to come back from all of this. I've supported you in the past. I won't do so again. No, I don't expect you to. You could have gone right to the top. I can't say I'm not extremely disappointed. Thank you for what you set up there. You hold Joe's future in your hands. I need the force to get behind you. Why would he give a false confession? Because Annabelle's manipulating him. She's a sociopath, psychopath, whatever you want to call it. She has no history of mental disturbance. She comes from a wealthy, middle-class family who were good at covering it up. She was distraught when she heard about Michael and Susan. She lies well. I mean, look at the facts. She hardly ever saw her father. He sent her off to boarding school. He controlled her relationships. He controlled where she lived. He controlled her money. Have you checked the inheritance? I'm chasing it. You do realise there is no forensic evidence against her? She would have planned this down to the last detail. If you're clever and resilient and resourceful, it's amazing what you can get away with. Go through the evidence again. Let's just see if anything leads to her. Please. Mrs. Kamara didn't seem the type to throw herself out of a window. Good news for us, though. Especially you. No more attacks. Do you know what I reckon? No, Andy, but you're obviously about to tell me. You switched those names on the board on purpose. You knew Danish would be in the nick, that the club would be empty. You got her there. You... I what? I what? You talked to her. Mrs. Kamara's case isn't open and shut. I could recommend it to become a murder investigation. It all come out then. Us running Danish, her standing up to him. You'd bring yourself down like that? If I went to professional standards, turn myself over as a witness, I might survive it. I've only been following your orders. What do you want, Andy? Time I was made, D.I. <laughs> well, I'm not in a position to do that anymore. You've still got the chief constables here. Sort it. Blackmail. Shitty little crime. Carried out by shitty little people.
Well, there's still a question again. They haven't charged him yet. Shouldn't you be there with him? <laughs> I'm off sick. If you're sick, it's the first time in 45 years. You don't even catch cold. What if I hadn't assigned myself off? They'd have suspended me. So, um, you know, least bad option. Must have been hard to walk away. He didn't do it. He didn't kill anyone. You really believe that there's no part of him that could have done this? Yes, I'm certain. He's just taking the fall for Annabelle. She's just... She's just got this hold over him. All he wants to do is please her and hurt me. Why? What happened between you? It doesn't matter. Look, I need to... Figure Annabelle out, I need to do a bit of digging on her, and it's just not going to work you being here. You neither. Oh, with the press camped outside. I'll never leave you alone. Why didn't you call your brothers from the caravan? Tell them where you were. I should have, I just. I was scared that if Joe saw me make a phone call, we might lose it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I just can't stop thinking that Daddy and Susan, if I never met Joe, none of this would have happened. Let's uh, put Joe's confession to one side for a moment. You want to hear your side of the story? How you met Joe, when you introduced him to your dad, your stepmother. It's useful for us to have context. Uh, um, I met him eight months ago at the hospital. He was so sweet. Vulnerable, that's what I fell for him. I, I didn't think for a moment he was violent. It's interesting to hear you say he was vulnerable. Can you help me understand what you mean by that? Yeah, he smoked a lot of weed. <laughs> no, he had this, this girlfriend who died, a policewoman. Uh, Catherine, he was really messed up about her. And he said his mother was dead too. Dead? I thought she was going to hit me in the cells. She really came at me. Is that normal with her? You can understand why we can't discuss a colleague. No, of course. And I'm not going to put in a complaint about her. I just... just want you to keep her away from me. She's no longer in the building. It must be such a terrible situation for her. Well, she's taking leave. So you introduced Josie, Dad? Yeah, in the autumn. I got on fine at first. Then Joe lost his job, moved into my flat, started getting bad. Then we got engaged. <laughs> yeah. Joe and my dad just clashed. Joe had this thing about how parents mess you up, but he had so much anger inside him. You said earlier you had no idea Joe could be violent. Well, anger doesn't have to be the same thing as violence. I think that's why he did it, but... because Dad wouldn't let us marry. Do you ever think he might have done it for you? Um... <laughs> no, I didn't put any ideas like that in his head. I didn't say you put any ideas into his head, though. Do you think you did? No. No. <laughs> so, your father was trying to stop your relationship. You must have been a bit annoyed about her. No, not really. I, I knew he'd come round. We were very close. So you didn't feel frustrated by his behaviour towards Joe? I, I thought he could have been kinder, but now I just think he... He saw what Joe was. How dangerous he was. When people cry that much, I stop believing him. You've been talking to Bancroft? No. Why? I don't want her views influencing us. You were too tough on Annabelle. Do you respect Gov? You weren't tough enough. Huh? She was fishing. She hooked you. You told her the governor had gone on leave. We arrested all of them. Kept them in overnight. We're still holding two people in custody. 
The woman who died at the raided club, Nyla Kamara, was her death linked to any of her son's drug activity? Doesn't look like it. Accidental. You sure about that? Bancroft did for Mrs. Kamara. I know it. I know, I just can't prove it. All this is destroying you. Andy Bevan's got a phone. A burner. So? Well, if he's got one, Bancroft must have one. That's obviously how they're communicating. If I could get hold of one of those, Andy's might be the easiest. And then what? You're the techie. <sighs> Intercepting calls is illegal. It's one thing. It's all I'm asking. Dad, if you get caught, you go to prison. I've always played fair all my life. But with Bancroft, playing fair doesn't work with her. To catch her, you've got to think like her. You've got to act like her. I can't do this any other way. So you take those right and then head round to. to get it back to him. Come on, I'll be leaving in a minute. Take Done. How does it work? Andy Bevan's texting only in two numbers on this. Yeah. When he contacts either of them, your phone will ring. OK. Yeah, no problem, Dad. Before you start about Mrs. Kamara, the postmortem's legit. Your funeral, Andy, not mine. When did you last come home? <laughs> Bet you can't remember. No. Christmas, I think. You were with Joe. Probably about three years ago. We've picked up CCTV footage of a blue van driving at speed through Downham Village. As you can see, the number plates have been obscured. Does Joe Bancroft have access to this sort of vehicle? We're checking. We need to close on this case. Joe's confession has holes in it, and I'm still not entirely sure Annabelle Connors isn't involved. Could it have been her that took the gun from the lodge? Maybe. She had access to the building, but we didn't find the gun in the caravan. We're presently searching the woods for the gun. We'll make sure that's a priority. Any evidence pointing to her? This has come in. Susan Connor's engagement ring is stolen during the murder. We found it in the caravan. It ties one of them to the scene of the crime. But why would he take it? To sell it? No, nothing else was stolen. It feels specific. And Annabelle did have a motive money from her mother. Michael's a trustee and he wasn't letting her anywhere near it. How much? Nearly three million. What if Joe did it, but under her influence? Folly Adair can be difficult to prove. Both parties always blame each other. What if we went down that route and we couldn't get to convict either Joe Bancroft or Annabelle Connors? It would look terrible for the force. All due respect, Gov, it's not my job to think of the political repercussions. But it is mine. I'd like an additional 12 hours detention time. As long as you call in the CPS. Sure you didn't know about it? I'd remember if I knocked off me old mum. Why did Bancroft decide to arrest you? She was stressing about a copper who was onto us. Why am I not included in what's happening anymore? What else did you talk about? Why should I tell you? 
questioning me like fucking mastermind. Sorry. There's just a lot going on. Yeah. I told her about an opportunity. She didn't go for it. Back across out of the picture anyway. What opportunity? There's a new man. Works out of Liverpool. Wants me to go in with him. But I'll need protection. I could help if there's enough in it for me. He's handing over 500k to launder through the club. I get 10%. I'll let him get eyes on you. I'll split it. When was the last time someone cooked for you? I don't live that kind of life. Just eat when I can, really. But Joe did, didn't he? Before he left? Yeah. Yeah. Joe did, yeah. <clears throat> He came to see me after he'd moved out of yours. He was in a state. A girl had died. And he seemed to think it was because of him. He was all mixed up. <clears throat> mixed up how? I can't help thinking that maybe this is all my fault. No, of course it isn't. But you weren't like other children. Somehow I couldn't get through to you. I wasn't a good mother. You were fine. No. Kept myself too distant. You know, sometimes children and parents, they just don't get on. It's just, you know, it's just the way it is. <laughs> I should have tried harder. But everything that your father was frightened of, I began to be frightened of, too. I'm sorry. What has this got to do with him? You never talk about him. Do you know, you, you, you've never even told me why he left. Was it my fault? Is that it? Of course not. You were a baby. But Joe's different. You've got him into this trouble. No, I didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm always protecting Joe. You didn't realise that you're the one that he needed protecting from. How dare you? I know what you are, Elizabeth. I think I've always known. How could I not? You're my child. I know what you're capable of. Joe's girlfriend that died. Catherine was digging into my past. She didn't love Joe. She was just using him to get to me. I didn't have a choice. Joe found out. Oh, boy. I don't enjoy it. I don't go looking for it. It's a necessity. 
things come back at you. In ways you never thought. Yes. Elizabeth. Don't give up on you. Fight Annabelle. Do whatever you have to. I wasn't headmistress of the school when Annabelle Connors was here. So you've no knowledge of her at all, then? None whatsoever. Well, one of the other teachers must remember her. Uh, well, they're all in morning classes. Perhaps you could come back at a more convenient time. Sorry. This, uh, this picture... This was taken ten years ago. Yes. I was a house leader. So you were here when she was here, then? This is a murder investigation. You need to tell me everything you know about Annabelle Connors. It was the second year of their A-levels. They both got expelled. It was a shock. They were star pupils. How much did they steal? Just under 10,000 pounds. I always believed the online fraud was Annabelle's idea. She had a strong influence over Charlotte, and Annabelle could be charming. Why is there no police report on this? Annabelle and Charlotte's parents paid back the money, and the school persuaded the girls who'd been defrauded not to press charges. So you hushed it up? It was an extremely difficult situation, and there were other factors at play. What other factors? I looked after Annabelle when she first arrived. How old was she? Seven. What was she like? Withdrawn. She'd lost her mother. Her father showed no care for her at all. I managed to bring her out of her shell a bit. And then the stepmother came along. Susan. She was Michael Connor's secretary. She cared for him and no one else. Mm -hmm. Certainly not Annabelle, anyway. And do you think Annabelle resented that? Well, if she did, she didn't show it. She became very good at masking her feelings. She stopped talking to me. By the end of her time at senior school, we'd had hardly any contact. Though that wasn't her version of events. What do you mean? Annabelle said if I went to the police, she'd accuse me of sexual abuse. My career, my life would have been over. She threatened and blackmailed her teacher. Oh, she's a liar, she's a thief. Why shouldn't she be a murderer? Chief doesn't want to put Annabelle in front of a jury. Why not? She's from a good home. Good family, she's a doctor. She has no record. She presents well. Chief reckons it'll be hard to get a conviction. CPS agree with her. I'm under pressure to charge Joe. No, 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 no. Joe, Joe thinks if he goes down, I can get his sentence shortened. What? He's protecting Annabelle. She's spun him a line. You've got to find out what. Let's start with some new evidence that's come in. Found this in the caravan. Do you recognize it? Yeah. Who does it belong to? Annabelle. Do you know where it came from? She has lots of nice jewelry. This isn't just nice jewelry, Joe. That's an antique emerald ring. How often does she wear it? I don't know. When did you last see it on her? I don't know. It was Susan Connor's engagement ring. 
We believe she was wearing it when she was murdered. Her finger was broken to get it off. Can you tell us how that came about? I don't remember. So you don't remember taking the ring from Susan's body, but you do remember that ring? Yeah, that's right. And you said it belonged to Annabelle? No, what I meant to say is that I gave it to Annabelle. Sure, that's right, Joe. Yeah. You sure she didn't bring that ring to the caravan? Joe, come on! Come on! Now, before you go down for 30 years for this girl, and 30 years it will be, you need to know that Annabelle is not defending you. And what would really help us right now is if you just told us the truth. I have. When we last spoke, you said that Susan was a bitch to Annabelle and that she supported Michael. What did you mean by that? Nothing. Annabelle said she had a good relationship with her father, Susan, too. Come on. She's just saying that. So she's lying. And uh, she's got good reason to. It's hard to talk about. Did she say that he abused her? She's accused other people of sexual abuse. Huh? Yeah, her school teacher. From what we understand, it was a lie. No, Annabelle wouldn't lie about something like that. She... <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? You want to drink of water? You look like you need one. I've been here for over 24 hours. I'm sure your lawyer's explained to you that we've extended your arrest period. You really expect me to answer more questions on no sleep? Have a breather, why don't you? I'm sorry if you had a bad night, but some new evidence has come through. You recognize this? Yeah, it's Susan's engagement ring. Do you know where we found it? On Susan's finger? It's in the caravan. No, Joe must have stolen it. Well, the thing is, this ring means nothing to Joe, but it means a lot to you, doesn't mm, it? Not really. This ring belonged to someone else, didn't it? Before Susan. You know, anyway, why are you asking? I'd like to hear you say. My mother. The ring belonged to my mother. And how did it make you feel when your father gave that ring to Susan? You want me to say I was angry, right? Susan had taken my mother's place. I despised her. That'd be good, wouldn't it? And then I'd have motive. Except it isn't true. I don't remember my mother. I was four when she died. You realise if everything you've told us is a fabrication, it's better for you if you admit that right now. Instead of accusing me, why don't you do your job and charge Joe? Well, except, of course, he's the son of your boss. That's what this is about, isn't it? You're biased. You're defending that deranged woman. Did your father at any stage behave inappropriately towards you, Annabelle? What? Did he physically mistreat you? No, did he never hurt me. Did he sexually molest you? No, OK? No, my father did not molest me. It's disgusting. He's been dead a week and you're accusing him of that. So your relationship with your father was good? He loved me, I loved him. And you never told Joe that he abused you? If he said that, he's a liar. Well, Joe was your boyfriend for eight months. You're engaged. Don't you have any feelings left for him? I don't know what I ever saw in him. He killed my father. I loathe him. Joe, you need to stop thinking about saving Annabelle and start thinking about saving yourself. You're in the frame for this, Joe. You're in big trouble. Your shoes, we found them at the flat. They had Michael Connor's blood all over the soles. I haven't worn them shoes in ages. And the analysis of the work phone cited it at the Connor's house the night of the murders. I lost that phone. 
when I left the hospital. Well, wait, see, three possibilities here, Joe. Either you did it, you did it with Annabelle, or you've been set up. Michael Connors was tortured, whipped, half to death. That is not self-defense, Joe. You're looking at a double murder charge. This is life. I don't think your mom can pull any strings because this is way too serious, Joe. Joe, Joe, did you do this? Or did you do it with Annabelle? What happened that night? What happened, Joe? Joe, Joe listen happened, to Joe? me. Joe. Joe, what happened that night? I didn't what do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I couldn't kill anyone. I couldn't. <sighs> I was just trying to help Annabelle. Who is this guy anyway? Unless you know the bad. He's late. I'm going for a piss. guy Danish wanted you to go in with. Why did you say no? I didn't like the sound of him. Why are you not getting yourself mixed up with him, mate? You thought about why he asked you? Yes. And? I'll talk to the chief constable tomorrow. Your man not turning up. Let's get out of here, man. Took long enough. from now on. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. We found the murder weapon in a skip near Annabelle and Joe's flat. Crow came at it from the Connor's garden. It's got Joe's fingerprints all over it. CPS have authorised charging Joe. What about Annabelle? I pushed to charge her, they refused. We're releasing her on police bail. There's just not enough evidence against her. <laughs> 